So here we are in Kavco Maker. So the first thing we do is open a new model. And we need to set the size of our job at 120 millimeters by 120 millimeters. We're making a little V-bit carbon design on the small 3018 CNC router. And the origin is set correctly for this particular job. But you can set the origin in any corner or the center that you require. High resolution and we're running in metric. So we press OK. Now, the new update for Cavco which is available right across the range. That's Cavco Maker, Cavco Maker Plus, and Cavco is the new vector library, which has a new feature, which is SVG import support. SVG files are essentially vectors or vector images. And there's over 100 for you to choose for, which are already there, that you can place in and uh, add to. You can use multiple files into your piece of work. But in this case, what we are going to do is we are going to create our own vector image from an image or should I say vector file, which is a SVG file, and we will save that file into the library. So first of all, we import, which is the easy way to import a file into Kafka Maker is to pull it, drag and drop it straight in from your desktop. So we set the size at 120 square and then choose the orientation of the program in the center of the material and press OK. And enlarge now to full screen. Now you can see the picture is a little bit pixely but that really doesn't matter. Kafka will uh, sort that out. So to convert this image to vectors, there are a couple of stages that we need to go through. So we go here to bitmap to vector. And the first job we do is to reduce the colors. Now, by choosing this feature, it already takes uh, the color range in, in this picture down to 32 anyway. But we want to bring it down a lot further. But if you bring it down too far, say to two colors, it makes it too boxy. So what we're going to do is bring it up to, say, four. And we're going to apply that. Then we're going to we're going to add in these two gray to the black. And we do that by left clicking, holding down, and just moving it over. And you see it makes a little joining bar. And this one join into this one. Got a few pixels there that oh I think they'll be okay. There's a few odd pixels there, but uh, I don't think they're going to hurt us whatsoever. Now, speckle size. Now, this is where the pixels come in. Now, the program. what you're asking the program to do is ignore two pixels or less. In other words, don't draw around them. So it's going to miss these out. Uh, smoothness, 75%. Now, that is... You're sort of instructing uh, Capcom Maker that 
Well, you're giving it some sort of scope to be able to make a nice smooth line around and not make it blocky and pixely. Now you raise this number up and uh, of course it goes too rounded and you miss a lot of the uh, clarity of the picture. And if you drop this to less, well, it gets too boxy. So we're, the, the, the main setting here, recommended setting, is pretty well OK. Press OK. And it creates the vectors for you. So you can come out of that. Now, if you have trouble seeing the vectors, you can simply catch out of this slide bar and turn like the contrast down so it filters out entirely the original picture and you're left with the vectors which is what we're interested in at this stage now having the vectors here um, it's probably a good idea to go direct to the vector doctor. Now this will check those vectors to make sure that there's no loops or crossover lines that you can't detect easily with your eye. So we're going to say okay and we want to identify any crossovers or loops. Identify And there doesn't appear to be any that I can see, so I think we're okay. Now, if there were some, it would come up with a, a red circle around it. And uh, you just go in and you can just delete it if you wish. In this case, everything is okay. So, in other words, we know that Cavco Maker is going to carve this and not come up with an error for you. So we can go straight into creating a V-bit carving. So it's the selected vectors that we want. Start depth 0, which is correct. Finish depth maximum about 3 millimeters. That will be fine. This is a very small little router, although it's been uprated. Um, you know, V-bit carving can be um, quite hard going for it. So 3 millimeters is uh, fine for this little 3018 router. Now we're going to select a tool. And we go down through the tooling list. Do we get to wood and plastic? Um, let me see. End mills. Oh, here we go. In actual fact, the tool that we're going to uh, make doesn't exist in here. But So we're going to choose this one, and we're going to make a tool now. So I'm going to say Copy, and I'm going to select the upper copy, and now we'll edit this. So first of all the description we're going to alter that to uh, 12 millimeters. The number of tool, the tool number doesn't matter to us uh, because I don't have a tool changer anyway. We're using millimeters, millimeters per second. It's it is a 90 degree um, diameter obviously is 12 that's the one we have to alter um, now then step over we need to reduce this drastically to 2 millimeters uh, speed 12,000 RPM. Feed rate 
8.5 mm, 8 millimeters a second is probably pretty fair and also the plunge rate at four millimeters per second I'm going to leave that that sounds fairly reasonable to me for this little machine um, so I'm going to press OK for that and we're going to select that and we'll just check it to see whether those numbers have come out 0.75. In actual fact, it's uh, step down. We can probably go. Um, we can go one there. I think we we'll go one one millimeter. That should be fine. Because don't forget, this is a very small little router, although it has been uprated. Now let's. We can see the maximum depth and maximum width here. Now, now we've selected the tool. Okay, so we've got a ma maximum width, which would be, say, across here, something like that, uh, of nine and a quarter millimeters, and just a little over four and a half millimeters in maximum depth. That sounds pretty fair for the size of. Uh, carving that we will be doing. Um, we're going to leave that. Five millimeters safe Z and home. That's fine. Set up the material size. We're going to say 12 millimeters. No top offset. Everything looks fine here. We're going to OK that. So I'm just going to simply put here um, V bit um, 30, 18, test 3. And we're going to calculate. And it's as quick as that. Okay. Now, if you want to turn on or off these tool paths so it doesn't look so messy, you can come here actually and just turn them off like that. I'll turn them back on. Whatever you you feel like doing. Okay, so it's at this stage now when we have our completed vectors. Now this is actually an SVG file. You can go over here and highlight. This is the default layer and you can just drag and drop this over into your vector library. and place it in here wherever you wish. So it's just a case of drag and dropping it in. You can also uh, create a new uh, library if you wish, uh, just by filling in uh, this box here, uh, and it will create a new library or start a new library for you. So you can save your vectors or SVG files or even SVG files that you've imported from any other program or medium that you wish that you can store in Kafka library for future use in your projects. So now what we're going to do is now I'm going to I'm going to simulate this now. Let's cut it. Um, now to do that, I find the easiest way. If you just open the tool paths and draw this down and simulate. And there it is. It also brings the simulate tab up here. So if you open that, 
you can now change this to whatever material you you wish and what we're going to do is we're going to go scroll through the different materials that you have a choice of making or viewing this in for a customer of yours or for your own you know whatever you want to do really um, let's have them just scrolling through here and try medium milk if we like oh yeah it's not actually showing because okay the reason it's not showing the color that we we like is because we've left the slider bar down here so you have to turn the contrast back up to be able to view your your carving now to move this around in 3d space you just press down on the scroll wheel and you can move this around and to pan it around so it's just both left and right button together that's better nice deep rich color now and if you want to see how or give some indication or have some indication of the depth of cut that really brings it out you can choose that and it sort of really gives you a, an indication of the depth of cut there uh, you know sort of a very strong contrast I'll just take that back off um, let's choose another color I actually like bronze I know we're going to be cutting this in wood type material but uh, bronze is quite nice that's the the normal one that I I use polished bronze really nice effect on that one you can really see you know the sort of effect of the the cut okay so now we are going to save this file to our desktop and um, then we will send it directly into the 3018. So to save a file, to pass, which opens up this sort of dialog box, go to the three and a half floppy disk, press that, and there's our file there. A lot of people ask me, or they send me messages saying, oh, <laughs> my machine isn't in the listing. Well, you know, there is, you know, many, many machines that are listed in here. But what you need to do, there are several different mediums that you can save your G-code in. Uh, the first one that I generally use and every machine understands is uh, if you're working in millimeters, is G code millimeter tap. If you're working in inches, it's G code, oh, sorry, G code inches tap. But if you're using Mark 3, there is one down here oh gone too far and that is let me see mark three here we go so you can save it in this one which is mark three inches or mark three millimeters okay that's the the, the normal ones that you would use for Mark III. There are others here There's for the special ones for the rotary axis and what have you here. You can also use those if you have a rotary axis. Um, Kafka can produce rotary axis, axis files. But for us, especially using uh, Gerbil, I think that yes they do Gerbil as well. Um, so you could also use uh, the inch or millimeter 
for the Gerbil program. But more often than not, I use G-code millimeter tap. It's the, the general all-rounder, I find. Um, so we're going to save this to the desktop. We'd better label it correctly. So this is... Um, and save. So that's now gone to the desktop. So we can close that. So I hope you've liked this little video today on Kavco Maker with the addition of the SVG import support or the vector library which is now available in all the Kavco products being Kavco Maker, Kavco Maker Plus and the main program of Kavco. At the end of this video and below this video in the description of the video you will find a Kavco discount code of 5% which can be used for any product that uh, you know you would like to purchase from Kavco. So thank you very much for joining me and it's bye for now.